Good morning guys. It's December. It's getting really cold and people are starting to put up their Christmas decorations. Tina and the kids have already put ours up and now it falls to me to make our Christmas wreath. As you can see here we have lots of stuff and I urge you all if you're going to make a Christmas wreath go out and find what you can. As long as it's evergreen okay you can use it all right there's a couple of things that apart from these here which are uh, plastic berries um, nothing has been purchased apart from that uh, we had some wire from last year and we also had a hoop from last year okay but apart from those things guys everything else that we're going to include in this has been able to uh, be taken from the garden or from the hedgerow so uh, join us in this episode when we make our Christmas wreath. So what do we need to do? Well, we've got lots of stuff here, guys. All right. Um, we've got some... Uh, uh, this is uh, off a Lilande uh, style tree, a conifer if you like, um, and that's a good evergreen. We've got the all important holly, okay. We weren't able to find any holly with berries, so hence the reason we've got these plastic ones. Something that you might not think, okay, and I've got it for, for this beautiful little seed heads. And I think it'll make a really interesting structure within the reef. And that's ivy, guys. This time of year, the bees are finished with it pretty much. Um, although they are still flying at the moment. But I think these are, are really pretty and they will uh, also add. We've got the berries, like I just said. We've got some pine cones as well. Now, these are pine cones I've collected for another project. And uh, we're going to use some in this. Now... Um, the other project's coming up later on in the year and, uh, and we've got these pine cones for that but, um, but we're going to utilise some of these in our wreath as well. So the first thing we need to do guys is we need to start making little bunches and we don't want them too long um, but uh, so what we're going to do, you need a few tools for this. I've got a pair of wire cutters, um, my Wilkinson sword, shears. Uh, these are great shears. They stay nice and sharp and as you can see they don't jar up so uh, and they, they, they're well battered because I've used them loads um, but my shears and we need some of this wire okay now so what we need to do we need to make up little bunches I'm going to make one just to show you what I'm doing and then after that guys um, we'll cut the video and we'll come back to it but essentially we need to trim these things down and this is about the size of the bunches you're looking for. Just a little bit about one and a half times the size of your hand for this size of ring. Now this is an 18 inch ring, okay? So um, uh, obviously you adjust the size of yours to that. Okay, so what we're looking for, strip back anything that we don't need and we're just looking to build up some layers, you guys. And we may need something something else there we go right I'm liking that okay now don't worry if the if it gets too big okay if the bunch gets too big because we can trim that all that down later so essentially this is what we're after here all right don't worry about it being too wide or anything we'll trim that down later and then what we do we take our wire let me just grab it There it is. So we take our wire there, guys. All right. We grab our little bench. And we need to do about four or five turns around this this wire. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab it, twist it underneath. And then you really need to pull this tight, guys. Because the last thing you want is that coming undone on you. Okay. Cut your wire. 
and then just feed it back and around itself so that's what we're trying to do here okay we're trying to build up some layering you can alter them around how you like and we're looking for contrasts of color with the within the evergreen and obviously structure as well guys okay so um i'm going to bend that around there and that's essentially what we're looking for so now my next job is to go through all this and make up bunches like that and i'll come back to you in a moment so guys i finished bunching up everything and uh before i go on to that now uh we we will put it together but i want to take you through what i've done with these so this was something i had from a, like a pound shop it's just fake berries that you can stick in a, a sort of jar it comes usually in the dry flower section what i did was i cut off sections like this and i created these sort of things out of it which we will then put back in and how i did that i just took a section i bent these berries to suit once they were next to each other like this it was just a case of arranging them how i wanted them and then getting a piece of this wire doubling it up and then literally just wrapping it around that stem to give me a new stem so that's the uh, berries and you know we've got plenty of berries here uh, in which to do one of the uh, wreaths the other thing I've done I've created the acorns on wires as well and how I did that nice long piece again and it's literally just face the acorn towards you and run it into all them gaps like that and as you pull the wire it'll find its way around the gaps it'll join up and it, you can just literally just twist it and that will secure that I come to the end get the two ends twist them together and then just trim them okay so now we have everything we need for our wreath so I've got a flat ring here it's a copper ring um, it's nothing major and the first thing we need to do to this we need to get our wire and we need to tie it off now how I do that I get a piece of the wire and I just lay it around I don't know if you can see this but I just lay it around the wire ring and then once I've done that I roll over it a few times just to make sure it is secure and that it's not going to come any you know come out undone and I roll over the wire creating a lock so we can really pull on that now okay the next thing I need to do is get up my bunches and as you can see they're nice little bunches and um, there's a lot of different structure going on they're quite spiky they've got the berry things here we've got a nice so greenery in the back so I'm gonna get a few of these up and we're gonna start off making our wreath okay so the first things first we literally just place our first one against the wire frame hold it there and we want to wire it in nice and tight give it a few times we then get the next one and what we're doing here we're going to overlay the reef over overlay the one from before come around just wire this one nice and tight guys this will stop it from moving and we just repeat this pattern right the way around the wreath now don't worry if it looks too big or things are sticking out where you don't want them because we can cut that off as we go every now and then just take the wire and just wrap it around just one of the bars 
which will tie those ones in okay onto our next one when you've got holly it can hurt a little bit but uh, just persevere with it if you're worried that it's going to come off you can do one through the branch itself just make sure the leaves are out of your way and then just do one like that I did find one with a couple of berries in here but uh, so again so there And it's as simple as this all the hard work is done now guys all we're doing now is creating is creating you know tying them off and creating that circle so just gonna put this one up a bit tighter and um, so all the hard work for this is already done when you made the bunches that takes a bit of time obviously but a wreath like this in the shops may cost you 30 or 40 pounds um, and it won't be nowhere near as good than what you can make yourself and don't forget you know I'm not spending huge money here the worst problem I'm gonna have is a few prickles in my hand off the holly but I think it's a small price to pay for a, a decent wreath what I'm going to do here now I'm just going to wrap it around the copper a few times and make more bunches than you think you're going to need because it's surprising how many will fit on here chunky ones you know we're nearly done guys and what I particularly like about these is you know because you've made some nice big bunches it's a nice big thick wreath it's not thin like the ones you buy in the shops I'm just gonna wrap it around the uh, about a couple of times here okay so I think probably this one may do be the last one we need yeah right so with this one literally just tuck it under the last one and now we've this is the awkward bit now you have to get your hand between the two bunches to spread it hold this one in place and wrap it at the same time but once you've done this one we are done I might just give this one between there just to hold this in place You know what I'm gonna go for another one in there I think Let's see if I can get it in yeah excellent 
Right, just got to wind this one up. This is the awkward bit now. It's just getting this wire down and through. Just push them out of the way and pull. Okay, gonna now turn it over. I'm gonna cut a nice long length off it. And what we're gonna do is literally just wrap it around the wire ring creating knots so we wrap it under the ring and tying it back on itself guys like you would as if you're sewing and this will make sure nothing moves there we are that's nice and tight now so there we have our ring at the moment guys all right the various ways of hanging this i uh i'm quite happy with it so what we're going to do now is we're going to start placing in our berries and it's literally just a case of popping them through as high as you want say there and then the rest of it wrap around the wire here which will secure them in place. There we are. So there we have our berries sticking out of there as well. So we're just gonna work around. Some of these may have more berries than others. Just really depends on the mood we're in at the time. Right, as you can see here, one of the berries came out from the wire. So it's just a case of po poking it back in and giving that wire a twist so it can't do it again. I just obviously didn't secure that enough. If you find that the wire isn't long enough, cut yourself another piece. Because at the end of the day, you're not going to see it. And literally just wrap it around and make it longer. So all you've got to do is this wrap it around make that longer just make sure it's wrapped up really well and now we have a longer wire and it's ex especially good if you're going into like really deep areas like i am here Again, this one's a little short, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to skip for that for a moment, just in case I don't need it, and I'll come back to it if I do. Here we are. You know, as long as you've got evergreen, guys, it doesn't matter what you use you know we've used ivy in this but these seed heads give it a lot of structure and it really does you know help the wreath to take shape so don't be afraid to go and trial things you may have some evergreen shrubs in your garden that you can utilize Now, as you can see, we're probably not going to use all of these berries that came off that thing. So, they'll come in handy for another project somewhere along the line. Then again, you might just want to put them in sideways or something. You know, it's don't forget this is your wreath and you can do what you like with it. 
There's no rules, guys. And I think one more in beer, and we'll leave the last one. Um, and I'm going to stick him in at an angle there. He's going right down in the middle there. I think he's come out somewhere. This is the pottiest bit of the uh, making, is getting these to sit where you want them to. Okay, so the next thing now is for us to stick in our cones. And I'm literally just gonna jab it through until I'm happy where it is and roll it again. So it's just a repeat of what the berries were, guys. What I will say with the cones, don't put in too many. It might look a little awkward, you know, but but like I said, it is your wreath and you can do what you like. If you find that the foliage is a bit tight for the wire to go through, um, get your fingers between it and it will then go through for you. There we go, look at that. Just like that. As our famous Tommy Cooper said. All right. Now, if you want a hanger for this, guys, you can. Um, make a wire hanger and uh, and just use the wire hanger what I'm going to do with a couple of these small ones I'm going to bunch them up together like this and then just twist them together and create one big one and this way um, I'm going to put this down the bottom down there. So excuse me, just sticking this in your way a minute. I just want to fill in some of the gap around here. So we just keep pushing. Bitting a big branch there, so I'm just gonna play around with it a second. What are you? Here we go. I think I'll do a double by you and then we can call this wreath done guys I think anything you're not happy about you get your little trimmers your little snips and you cut it off it's as simple as that guys
be careful when you're pushing through because I just stabbed myself in the finger. There we are. Just position them how you want things now. Anything you're not happy about, now's the time to trim it. Take that out just to clear out the center a little bit and that one. Other than that, I think we can call that done, guys. So, there you go. Our holiday or Christmas wreath, depending what you want to uh, call it. And uh, I think you'll agree that'll look nice on anybody's front door. And it's cost us absolutely nothing because we had the ring from last year and a bit of wire. But if you had to buy them, um, a pound for these things, guys. Pound fifty for the ring and probably about a pound for the wire. So two, three quid and you've made yourself a really nice wreath that you can hang on your front door. Anyway, guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope this has been of interest to you. We'd really appreciate it if you enjoyed this episode to give it a thumbs up please hit the subscribe button because obviously that is uh, how we are able to get in touch with you guys and, and let you know when our videos are up. And talking of that, um, just down, uh, just below me here, you will see a little bell. If you click on that bell, guys, it'll actually, there's a tick box in there and that will um, allow you to receive an email telling you when we put a new video up as well. So, so you don't miss nothing that we send out. Anyway, guys, that's it from our holiday wreath. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.